To scan sheet music or any other documents that I need to take care of, I use my iPhone as well as the app Tiny Scanner. There are all different types of apps that scan, but that's just my preference and the one that I like to use. There is a free version which lets you download up to four documents, but I forked out and got the $5 version which lets you download as many documents as possible. Today I'm going to be using my Disney collection book purely because it is so thick and it will be a great example of how to scan something when it is a little bit more challenging or thick. I'm going to be scanning the song Zippity Doodah purely because it's the one of the few songs that was only two pages, but it will be enough example so you can see how we scan our sheet music. I'm ready to scan and my first page is ready. It is gonna be straight. I'm gonna be scanning this next, but it doesn't matter right now that that is not the straight page. I have my phone ready and my tiny uh, scanner app ready and I just click it to open it. I press the plus button down the bottom to open it for the camera and then you will see and I'll hold you up. We need to get a nice clear shot of the song. There we go. Perfect. Now, you will see that the page has been outlined with a, uh, a blue line. And you can actually adjust that if you want. But that was a pretty good shot. Actually, down the bottom, I might just make it a little bit more accurate there. When I'm happy with that, it's totally covering the whole page. I click done. And there's my page, yay. And it's really clear. That's a great shot. I'm gonna name my, my scan already. Let's say zippity doodah, zip. Oh gosh. Zip. Uh, D. Do, da, great, that's ready. And I'm ready to add a second page. But before I go and do that, there's a few different options you have. You have this little picture here which shows that you can change the color. I'm gonna show you these. You have the exact color of the scan, black and white. Oh, I'm sorry, this is the exact color of the scan. This is color, black and white, photo, and grayscale. I like with sheet music to use the black and white because it's nice and clear. And then I'm gonna click save. Awesome. So my first page is scanned and my title is there. I'm gonna click it because I want to add a second page and I'm gonna add the page with a little plus to add that, like that. Great. Now this is where it's tricky because this doesn't wanna say straight and it might mean that I just have to hold the book like this Take the photo. It's done me a favor there and it's actually cropped it perfectly so I don't have to readjust. Sometimes when you take a photo, it can't even recognize the page at all and you will have to manually drag the corners to adjust. But that seems great. I click done and that's perfect. And then I save. Amazing, both pages are there. I can go back there. So here I know that it's got two pages. It says 2P and then I can share it however I like. I can either email it to myself. I can open it in Google Drive, in Chrome, in Cloud, whatever you want and then I export it and that's it. And that's how I scan my sheet music. If you enjoyed this video and want access to more free warm-ups, meditations, and other singing-related videos, make sure you subscribe. I am a new channel and any support is appreciated so I can make more material for you guys. Anyway, that's it from me. See you next time.